Praise the Lord. God bless you, great people. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning there, Brother X. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Y'all come on in here. God bless you. Sunset Lily. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Thank you guys for popping in. Um, indeed, it's always an honor and a privilege to be in your hearing. Amen. And pray that there be something said. Amen. To always uh, uh, encourage your heart. Amen. Or to challenge you. So forgive me while I take my shoes off. Amen. <laughs> and on my slippers today. Don't want to trip and fall. Amen. Um, Amen. God bless you, Sister Kathy. God bless you. God bless you. Appreciate you being with us. Amen. God bless you, Minister Fleming. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, again, always an honor and a privilege to be in your hearing. And for those that don't know, uh, this is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Discipling Ministries, the place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. Hallelujah. Amen. You get it? Building of a people. So that, that's what we do. Amen. And so, um, again, just really glad, excited to be here today. Amen. Every day uh, is not the best day. Amen. But it's still a good day to be alive. It's still a good day uh, to be in the faith. Amen. It's still a good day to be striving um, to, to, to do better, to be better um, and, and, and being available for God to use us. Glory to God. Amen. And so I want to talk to us a little bit today. Um, as you know, we're just wrapping up the series. Amen. Born again, again. I'm prayerful that that thing landed home and was able to minister to us. God bless you, Pastor Fleming. Amen. Um, and so, uh, but we're, 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 we're getting ready to launch into something new today. Um, and as always, we hope that that even in that, uh, again, that it, it, it stirs something up in us, that, that it challenges us a little bit. Um, the way we think, the way we, the way we view things, um, just to help us be better. Amen. So if you will, uh, we're going to second Timothy, the second chapter, second Timothy, the second chapter. Once again, second Timothy, the second chapter. And I'm going to be reading this for us. And um, before I even begin, uh, I'm going to tell you that uh, we, we started this uh, this past Wednesday uh, with our discipleship training. And so uh, cer certain things I'm not just going to I'm, I'm not going to go back over um, because that was for that session. And there, so there are some things that was for that session. And then there's some things that I want to share with us today, because, um, again, you know, ministry begins uh, at home. And so that's that that that's where the ministry began. And so that's where we launched from um, on last Wednesday. And so that's where we needed to launch from. And so today, as far as a, 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 a broader um uh, audience, if you will, that's where we're going. We're going to be going to some different places. 
So uh, again, 2 Timothy, the second chapter. 2 Timothy, the second chapter. Amen. And so uh, I'm going to be reading from the New King James Version. And I'm just going, I'm just going to start from verse 1. And uh, I'm not going to really elaborate on the first couple of verses. It may, may point out a couple of things. But ultimately, um, we're, 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 we're going to pick up somewhere uh, a little bit lower. So go with me. 2 Timothy, the second chapter. God bless you, Uncle Bobby. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thanks for being with us. Um, hopefully, I didn't miss anybody. Y'all know I like to give my shout outs. You know, appreciate you faithful people. Beginning at verse 1, 2 Timothy, the second chapter. You, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus and the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses. Commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. You, therefore, must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. And also, if anyone competes in athletics, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. The hardworking farmer must be first to partake of the crops. Consider what I say, and may the Lord give you understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel, for which I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even to the point of chains. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I endure all things for the sake of the elect, that they also may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. Amen. And I'm going to stop right there. Uh, I've read to us uh, verses 1 through 10. Verses 1 through 10. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 through 10. 10. And for those that, that, that haven't, uh, uh, that didn't get a chance to look at the title of today's message, it simply says, consider what I say. Consider what I say. In other words, observe, discern, take note, you know, just consider what I'm saying. Amen. And so I want us to consider what I'm telling us today. Amen. Because again, I'm coming from the word of God, but it's up to you whether you consider it or not, whether you observe it, whether you uh, 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 discern it. Amen. And so I'm just asking, will you please consider what I say? Glory to God. Amen. And so as we look at this, amen, we begin in verse one. It starts off by saying, you, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And so to us, amen, uh, even as I was talking about this morning, amen, and, and again, I know some of y'all wasn't there, amen, <laughs> but as I was talking about this morning is that our strength is in the grace of God. Amen. And so he's telling, we know that this is the uh, 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 Apostle Paul and he's talking to Timothy, this, 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 this young pastor, and he's telling him some things. And so as he's telling him some things that he need to do, he's telling them, you, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And so to try to be strong under your own grace or your own favor or the own whatever that you have, amen, would, would almost set us up for failure. Amen. Or we'll get weary. We'll get tired. We'll, be, we'll begin to act uh, according to our flesh. And we'll begin to let people know, hey, you can't say that. You can't treat, you, you know, we'll, again, we'll, it, it'll cause us to kind of get beside ourselves. But he says, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. And so that is a reminder to us. Amen. He goes on in verse two. He says, in the things that you have heard from me among many witnesses, commit these to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. And so he's telling him that, hey, the stuff that I'm giving you, man, that, that it has to be given to faithful people. Some people just, they, you know, they, 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 they come to church and, and ministry looks exciting. Ministry look good. And so, uh, because they give a, a nice offering, so we commit it to them. And now all of a sudden they, they, they they supposed to be teaching people and they ain't teaching the right stuff. They had to, he said, no, to faithful people, to faithful men. All right. He said, teach it to faithful men, the things that, that you've been taught. All right. And so here we go. Verse three, he says, you therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier 
of Jesus Christ. And so again, the thing that we're talking about today is consider what I say. Consider what I say. And so here we have Paul, amen, talking to another preacher, amen, this young preacher. And so I need to also remind us that this thing was written while Paul was in prison in Rome. And so he's in prison, but he's yet encouraging his son, amen, somewhat a, a son in the faith on how to govern himself, how to be his best in Christ as a leader. Glory to God. Amen. And so what, what happens today is we find many people that, well, if you ain't in my, you know, you, 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 you know, if you ain't in my denomination or you, if you ain't this, you, you can't tell me nothing. Amen. And so, uh, and again, it even happens in families. Amen. You, you, you can't tell me. <laughs> Amen. But here we find Paul trying to encourage this young pastor. Amen. He's, in, he's encouraging him. He's teaching him. Glory to God. And so listen to this. He says, you therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And so I'm not going to spend a lot of time there because I talked about that on uh, Wednesday night um, in, in our session. But the thing that I want us to know and for this audience to know is that he says you must endure hardship. Amen. Because I'm telling you what happens in the body of Christ is that many assume that 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 because you're in leadership, that because you're the pastor or the apostle, because you're fivefold, that there is some luxury behind this thing, that there's some uh, there, there's these accolades, there's some there's this type of uh, of beauty. Amen. Behind this, you know, uh, 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 having people lift you up or being puffed up. But he's telling him he was like, listen. You're gonna, you must endure hardship. And so, but, and so many don't understand the hardships that really come with ministry. And so I'm not trying to deter anybody. I'm just trying to tell us, amen. I'm just telling us to consider what I say is that ministry is not easy. Church is. Church is easy. Oh yeah, church is easy. But ministry is not easy. Amen. And, and so get ready to endure some hardships if you think this is what you're called to do. And so don't be upset. Well, Lord, why me? Lord, why I got to go through? Love? No, you must, must endure some hardships. Amen. This is not easy. This is not for the faint at heart. Amen. And so if you know that I can't ha hang on to the grace of God, amen, then you probably don't want to be uh, a quote unquote a pulpit uh, ministry or, 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 or one that's going to literally stand on the word of God. Amen. And so again, this ain't easy. This ain't easy. Amen. So we must endure hardship. And so he's telling him this as a young person. And so our young people, we don't tell them that. We just know that they sing real good. And because they sing real good, you a pastor. <laughs> Amen. Because they can hoot or they can play with the word and say, oh, you a pastor. And then all of a sudden they pastors and they messing people up. They slipping, dipping and midnight. <clears throat> all right. Come on back. Man. Come on back, Apostle. Come on back. I'm, I'm just trying to help us, amen. And so, uh, because we don't, we, we, but he said, commit this to faithful men. Faithful men, amen. And so faithful, meaning faithful to God. Not just that they're faithful to whatever, but faithful, amen. Faithful to the things of God. Glory to God. God bless you there, amen. Latrice Thomas, happy birthday to you. God bless you, amen. And so, uh, listen to this. Again, you therefore, must, must, must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And so the thing that I, that I would simply tell us, okay, we already know that we must. And then he says, as a good soldier. And so it lets us know that as soldiers, and in, in, most of you know that, hey, I'm, I'm retired military. And I can tell you, amen, not all the time was I a good soldier. Amen. But I was still a soldier. Glory to God. And so there's a difference between a soldier in uniform and a good soldier. Amen. But he's telling us to endure hardship as a good soldier, as a good soldier. Amen. See, some soldiers, amen, you literally got to get in them or you got to write them up. You got to always be, ah, ah, didn't I tell you? Ah, ah, ah. You know, but a good soldier, amen, you just say, hey, I need this to happen, that to happen and do this, be there and whatever. And it's going to happen. And, 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 and in those cases, they're not just going to do it. Amen. But they're going to they're gonna excel at it. Amen. They're going to own it like it's theirs. Glory to God. Amen. And so that's a good soldier. Amen. But there, there are not everybody's a good soldier. Amen. Again, I'm telling you that I had some times when I wasn't such a good soldier. Amen. And, but what happened is I allowed my surroundings. Amen. I allowed how somebody treated me or how they uh, uh, acted towards me to determine if I was going to be a good soldier or not. 
Amen. But that's not being a good soldier. Hallelujah, somebody. So what am I talking about? Those of us in the faith, they remember, remember he's, he's schooling this, uh, uh, Paul is schooling this young pastor. He was like, listen, just because everybody don't respond the way you think they ought to respond, just because people, listen, you keep on enduring hardship, just because they're putting their mouth on you, just because they're saying, hey, they need to shut down that ministry over there, just because they don't like, you know, how, how, that, that, the, the, the way you, uh, 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 exegesis, so to speak, the, the, just because they don't like your tone or because you're aggressive. Or, anyway, he said, hey, endure the hardship. Glory to God. You endure it. You endure it. You, you, as a good soldier. As a good soldier. And so a good soldier says, I don't have to retaliate because you're acting foolish. Amen. And so sometimes amen, on those videos, amen, at like Buckingham Palace and they got those soldiers standing out there and people are playing with them or whatever, but they won't flinch. They won't move. Tomb of the unknown soldier, whatever. They don't flinch. They don't move. And so in other words, we have to be this type of soldier. And so Paul is telling Timothy to govern himself as a soldier. Did we catch that? He's telling himself to govern himself as a soldier. And so I told us that Paul was in prison. And so the thing that we have to understand is sometimes even in prison, amen, that, that, that they, they would literally chain the prisoners to soldiers. And the soldiers acted a certain way and whatever. So I don't know. I, 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 I can't tell you. But I believe Paul had the opportunity to observe some soldiers around him. And there's a possibility that he was that he was a, a, a shackle to a soldier. But yet that soldier showed him something that he could a, a, a give to Timothy. It was something about that soldier that was like, yeah, those are the type of Christians that we need as soldiers. Glory to God. Amen. But I'm telling you, at times in my life, if Paul would say be like him, <laughs> Amen. Uh, that wouldn't have been a good thing because I haven't always been a good soldier. Amen. Glory to God. And so again, for me, allowing my situations to determine if I'm going to be a good soldier is not being a good soldier. In other words, regardless of what's going on around us, we have to be determined to be a good soldier. What are you talking about, Apostle? Somebody say, consider what I say. Consider what I say. And so uh, we have to determine that despite what's going on around us, despite what's going on, uh, uh, what our neighbors said about us, despite uh, everything that's going on in the world, I am determined to endure this hardness as a good soldier of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And so it continues on. He says, uh, verse four, no one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. And there it is again. He's talking about a soldier. And so uh, again, so it lets me know that Paul, he had his peripherals was on. Though, although he was in prison, he's writing this letter. He observed some things. And so he's observing. So in, in other words, he ain't just concerned about his situation. He ain't mad because he in prison. Amen. He, he, he ain't got time to be talking about writing, talking about, and these so-and-so doing this to me. And these so but no, he's trying to write a letter and say, yeah, you need to be like these guys. Amen. Glory to God, somebody. And so, uh, again, trying to help us now. So, again, verse, no one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life. And so, what Paul is trying to tell us is that, listen, he said, in warfare, amen, the, the warfare that I'm involved in is, is helping you, Timothy. Not only is it helping you, but it's drawing people to Christ. It's causing people to want to serve God. God to want to take heed to this gospel that, that, that I've been preaching. He says, so in other words, I can't entangle myself with the affairs of this world. The affairs of this world would say I'm in prison. He said, but I ain't got time to be worried about being in prison. I don't, have to, I don't have time to be worried about what I'm eating and drinking. I don't have time to be worried about all the other stuff. I am still about my father's business. So come on somebody. Amen. <laughs> Consider what I say. He said, I don't have time to entangle myself with the affairs of this world. The affairs of this world is that they don't like me because I'm preaching the gospel. The affairs of this world is, hey, because I stand on the word of God. They, may, they, don't, they don't like me. And so it literally took me to being in chains. They've literally shackled me. Hallelujah. But glory to God, I am not going to allow those affairs, amen, to change what God has called me to do. I'm not going to allow 
have these chains, these shackles to keep me from being what God has called me to be. And therefore, I write this letter to you, Timothy, and say, hey, even in this, I see some things, amen, that you can use. Amen. Be strong in the grace of God. Amen. Endure hardness as a good soldier. Because, because just like I'm enduring hardness in, this, in these shackles, uh, shackled possibly to a soldier, he got to go through what I go through. And he's going through. Amen. He ain't complaining. Amen. I hope this helping somebody today. Consider what I say. Glory to God. It goes on to say, no one engaged in warfare entangles himself with the affairs of this life. And so, uh, upon it, it's, it's, it's saying that ministry is warfare. Does anybody else recognize those words? Warfare. Amen. He said, ministry is warfare. Doing this, doing the work of the Lord is warfare. Amen. And so we have to understand that we are engaged in warfare every day, every time that we're doing ministry. Amen. It, you, so you don't have to be in warfare to do church. Amen. But to do ministry is warfare. Hallelujah. And he says, but hey, I'm not going to uh, uh, get caught up in the things of the world, the affairs of, of this world. He says, why? That he may please him who enlisted him as a soldier. And so the objective is to please the one who enlisted him. And so uh, he's, he's telling, he's telling, he's telling uh, 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 Timothy, he's like, listen, you ain't out there to please them folk. You ain't out there to please the mother pastors in the neighborhood. You ain't out there to try to make friends with everybody. You need to please the one who enlisted you. Who is your commanding officer? Your commanding officer is Jesus the Christ. He is the one who enlisted you. He is the one who called. He is the one who chose you. Amen. And so once again, even when it comes to the fivefold ministry, amen, some people be like, well, I just, uh, 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 we assign this. Amen. We just, it's almost like we give out lottery tickets like you next, you next, you next. But these things are chosen by the Lord. He said he will give us pastors after his own heart. Amen. He, he says, hey, that he's given these gifts to some, not all, but as men, amen, we begin to get, we begin to pass it out. Because they look the road, they sound the road, they got enough money. Well, we won't listen. I'm trying to help us today. Glory to God. Amen. Somebody say, consider what I say. I'm just saying, consider it, consider it, consider it, observe it. Amen. Discern. Hallelujah. And so it goes on. Again, he says this. He says that he may please him who who, who enlisted him as a soldier. And so the one that who who that Jesus is our commanding officer. And so we're here to please God. We're here to please the one who enlisted us. Hallelujah. But can I tell you this? He's telling Timothy, it ain't got nothing to do with you uh, serving the man who says he's apostolic. <laughs> you, it has nothing to do with you serving the Baptist church. It has nothing to do with you serving the church of God or the assemblies of God or the, or the this or the that or that. All, all these other things. Amen. You need to know who enlisted you. You need to know who enlisted you because we have a tendency to say, I'm this, I'm that. This is me. I, hey, this is why I was born. This is how I'm going to die. This is what, no. Who enlisted you? Who enlisted you? Who are you working for? Glory to God. Amen. And we are working for the Lord. And if the Lord can use you over here, surely he can use you over here. But amen. Or over there. But are you willing to go over there or, or have you decided that this group or this bunch is the one that enlisted me? Amen. And so we, we, we don't we don't maneuver. We don't do like 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 God has called us to do. We, we miss some stuff. Amen. So well, hallelujah, somebody. Amen. I hope this making sense to us. So once again, consider what I say. Just just consider it. Just 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 consider. Consider, consider, consider. Amen. That he may please him who who enlisted him as a soldier. And so whoever has chosen us, amen, to be uh, leaders in the faith or whatever it is, whether it be lay members, amen, or whatever it is that God has called you to, amen, remember, he's the one that called you to it. He is the one that led you to it. And so he is the one that you should be pleasing. Glory to God. And I'm telling us, most 99.9% .9 of the time, if we please God, we'll please man. Hallelujah. And when I say man, I'm talking about the people that God has placed over us. We'll please our leaders. Amen. If, if, if they are truly leaders of God. Amen. Amen. I hope we're understanding. Come on. We're moving on. We punch it. We, and so he's talking about this thing about soldiers. And so, yeah. So he's introduced Timothy about these soldiers that he's surrounded by. Amen. The Roman army. Glory to God. Listen to this. Verse 5. 
He says, and also, if anyone competes in athletics, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. And so I'm thinking, I'm like, man, okay, he talked to him about a soldier. Then all of a sudden he's talking to him about athletics. And so when you when you think about a soldier, and I talked to them on Wednesday night, and I was telling them that, man, I have always um, envied <laughs> the Marine Corps. Always. I always. I, I always love them. The uniform, how they, how, how, how they carry themselves, you know, whatever, whatever. Okay? I, always. But even though I was in the Army, amen, I didn't act a fool in my uniform. I told you I wasn't the best soldier. Uh, but it's something about that uniform that I have respect for. And so, but once I took that uniform off now, <laughs> that's something different. <laughs> so, but, but <laughs> so I'm just saying, consider what I say now. It was something about that uniform. And so even today, amen, and I just used this, I hope you don't mind, uh, 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 Pastor Parker and I was out yesterday, and he had his hat on, and all of a sudden, this woman, is, she's like, oh, thank you for your service, and whatever, can I hug you, and whatever, and, and all that good stuff, because there's something about the, the uniform of the military, it, you know, he wasn't in uniform, but she knew he had served, and so the thing that I'm telling us is that uh, it's, it's something prestigious, Amen. About the military. It, it gained you a, a, a level of respect from people that respect the uniform. And so, uh, it, it's a, yeah, it, it's, it's something to that. Amen. And so, but now that we switch to athletics, amen, what we'll find today is that, you know, the LeBron James of the world, amen, the, 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 the uh, Aaron Rodgers, amen, the, the Tom Brady's, amen, uh, athletes, 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 amen, amen. Uh, the, the, the Candace Parkers, amen. They, uh, listen, Cheryl Swoops, you know, amen. I'm a little old school, amen. And so, so, so the thing that I'm telling us is that athletes get some prestige. And so I found it interesting that the first two that he's talking about, he was like, listen, amen, soldier, prestige, athletes, prestige, glory to God. But listen, listen to how he says this. He says, and also, if anyone competes in athletics, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. And so, again, although there's there's some stimuli, if you will, around these other, uh, as a soldier and as an athlete, he's saying, but listen, as an athlete, you're still not going to get crowned, still can't get crowned if you don't play by the rules, if you don't obey the rules. Listen, listen to what he says. He is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. So what am I trying to say with all that? The thing I'm trying to tell us is that there are many of us that have come into the faith that have said uh, that, that, that my strength is in God's grace, that God has called me, that God is using me, and all these other uh, fancy words we like to use, amen, uh, 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 this level and that level and this sphere and that sphere and all this other stuff, amen, but then we live our life how we want to live it. Paul is telling him that, listen, there are some rules to this thing. Glory to God, somebody. Amen. And so many people are like, well, I don't want to be in no faith where they got rules and regulations. I'm tired of that. You, you can't do this and you got to do that. In other words, we don't want no rules. We want to live in a lawless place. Come on, somebody say, consider, uh, just, just consider what I say. Amen. And so we think that just because, amen, that we have a freedom in Christ, amen, that we can do whatever we want to do. We can do whatever we feel like doing. We can do whatever we've grown enough to do. But I'm telling us that there are some rules, amen, and if we don't obey those rules, if we don't uh, compete according to those rules, we won't get no crown. Ah, did we catch that? Amen. A crown of God. Oh, no, we, we, we won't get no crown. So it's telling us that there are some rules and we must compete. We must walk out this life by some rules. Amen. And God has given us some rules. Whether we like it or not, there is a standard of living. There is a standard of walking in this faith walk. Amen. There is a standard of believing. Glory to God. In other words, amen, we are to uh, 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 take up our cross daily. Amen. We are, we, we are to for, for, forsake ourselves. Amen. Glory to God. Listen. I'm in the word. He says this. And also, 
If anyone competes in athletics, he is not crowned unless he competes according to the rules. Amen. So there are some rules. There are some rules. There are some rules. And so, again, grab that. There are some rules. Prestigious, military, soldier, amen, prestigious, uh, athletics. But listen to what he says in verse 6. He says, the hardworking farmer must be first to partake of the crops. Once again, the hardworking farmer must be first to partake of the crops. And so he goes from talking about a soldier enduring some hardships and yet being a good soldier. Hallelujah. For those that just coming in, we're in uh, uh, 2 Timothy, the second chapter. Amen. We're right around the, 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 the sixth verse. Glory to God. Amen. And so, again, he says this. He says, the hardworking farmer must be first to partake of the crops. But notice he said, the hardworking farmer. Glory to God. And so what I'm telling us is that sometimes in the faith, amen, we say, well, I, I was baptized, amen. I've been in the church a long time, amen. But there is no hard work that we get into, amen. There is no laboring, amen. There is no travailing. There is no hard working that we do, amen. And so he's telling us, he's saying, listen, that as a leader, amen, and for those of us that are in the faith, that this is a hard work, y'all. Amen. Because we, some, some kind of way, we feel like once you come to the Lord, everything, amen, is all right. Amen. The tree will have to endure nothing. You have to go through nothing. But we already found out that you got to endure some hardship. And not only that, you got to be working hard. You got to be working hard. And so sometimes in the faith, amen, we get lost in thinking it is our work that drives us. No, amen. It's not our work that drives us, but we do need to be working. <laughs> Amen. By faith, we move God. Come on, somebody say, consider what I say. Amen. And so he's saying, listen, the hardworking farmer. And so the thing that I found unique about this is that ain't nothing prestigious about a farmer. Nothing. <laughs> amen. I talked about the soldier. Amen. People, amen. Thank you for your service. Amen. You know, they even got a hey, every year you get you might you, you can if you if if you plan it right, you can get a free meal. Amen. You can get a military discount because they recognizing you. Amen. They 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 understand. As an athlete, amen. I'm, I I've heard of athletes going places and people like, man, you ain't gotta pay for nothing in here. Every, you, everything you get, it you know, is is it's on the house because you are athlete. And so there's a but a <laughs> Amen. People be like, get out of here with them stinky boots. <laughs> Amen. But see, but listen, 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 listen. I mean, let's catch this now. Catch this. Soldiers in general can be recognized by their uniform. But outside of the uniform, it's a, it, it takes a little bit more. Sometimes you have to listen to the way they speak. Uh, some people say, well, they can see by their haircut. But so other people wear those kind of haircuts too. <laughs> Civilians. Okay, athletes, amen. Their face may be known around the world. People may recognize them as an athlete. Yeah, 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 yeah. A farmer. Don't nobody know who that is. Don't nobody know who. No. But his crops can go all around the nation, man. The product of what he's done can go. And so it, it, it requires some work. But see, uh, but most of us ain't saying that I'm trying to be no farmer. Amen. We, we, we want something that's going to put us in the limelight. Amen. And so my thing, what, what, what I'm trying to tell us and what Paul is, I believe Paul is trying to emphasize is that, hey, every day ain't going to be no prestigious day. Every day ain't nobody going to be calling your name. Every day ain't nobody going to be looking, amen, to, 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 to say, hey, give me a word. Amen. But you still got to be hard working. Amen. Working the fields, working the crops, even when you ain't getting no, when, when nobody patting you on the back. Come on, somebody. Consider what I say. Glory to God. Amen. And so, uh, uh, again, he's, he, he's, he's trying to help us now. He's, he, he's talking. He's trying to help Timothy. And I believe he's trying to help us. Hallelujah. Will we receive this today? Again, the hardworking farmer. The hardworking now. Hardworking. He didn't say that just came to work. Amen. And came to work and went to lunch. <laughs> came to work and put his feet up. Amen. Came to work. Amen. And did what? But no, 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 no. He's saying that, hey, you got to be hardworking. You got to be hardworking. 
Amen. You got to put in the work. No, you may you may not have been called to be the 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 the, the, the soldier or the athlete. In other words, you may not be called to be in front of a microphone. You may not be called. And see, but he said, hey, you still got to work hard. You still got to work hard. Because oftentimes we think, hey, the hard work is for the pastor. The hard work is for this one over here. The hard work is for the, is, is for, is for the apostle. Amen. But even if you're the former, you got to, it's, it's, it's hard work. Glory to God. And so if you got to get down there and step in some poop, amen, step around some poop working on the farm. To God be the glory. But others will eat of your crop. Hallelujah. Others will eat of your slaughter. Amen. It's just not for you. You just got to be the first one. Amen. And because you've labored, amen, you get to be the first one to do it. Amen. And so that's the flip side. He's also telling him, just like I'm telling you, amen, uh, the same, again, sometimes people be wondering, why you get so excited? Why you get so, why you screaming? Why you doing? Because I get to be the first, the first partaker of whatever I'm giving you. I get to eat of it first. And so this word that I'm giving you, I got to eat of it first. And so I'm already, and so when I get to you, I'm like, yeah, this is good, y'all. And, and so again, but, but it's, 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 it's because I, I took the time to be the first partaker. But if I if all I did was plant, 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 and never ate up my own crop, if all I did was speak, 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 and it never did anything for me, I'm in the wrong business. Why? The farmer is the first partaker. A lot of people that farm, you it, it rarely, if ever, will you find a farmer that don't eat something that they grow. <laughs> Amen. And I, I I would say never. Because most of you, you know, from, from my understanding or my research says most of them did it, amen, they started off doing it for themselves. And it just expanded to doing it for, uh, 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 whether it be for the local community or whatever the case may be. But the thing I'm trying to tell us is that, listen, the hardworking farmer, amen, must be first to partake of the crops. And so, just like the crops that I'm giving you today, amen, I had to be the first partaker. I had to eat of it first. And so, it's for me. And so, even as I say, consider what I say, amen, I'm telling me, consider what I say. Observe, discern what I say, amen, because it's coming from the word of God. Hallelujah. And so, again, the soldier on a pedestal platform, amen, the athlete on a pedestal platform, people to see, Amen. Out front. But the farmer, way in the back. Amen. Way out in the field. Working from sun up to sun down. Amen. Doing the things that he has to do to be a help to someone else. That's ministry, y'all. That ain't church. <laughs> Amen. Ain't, ain't, ain't no limelight in that. Amen. Ain't no limelight. But he get the satisfaction of knowing I'm feeding. I'm feeding. I'm feeding, I'm feeding, I'm doing my, I'm doing my part, even though no one ever sees me. Glory to God. Am I talking to any, 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 any Christians? Amen. That's, 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 that's been feeding. And feel like they ain't getting no recognition. Ain't nobody see me. They don't like my ministry. Now, hey, you just keep feeding. You just keep feeding. Do your part. Come on, hardworking farmer. Do your part. That's, 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 that's your part right there. Amen. But why are you farming? Make sure you eat nothing too. Yes. Come on, somebody. Amen. Glory to God. He goes on to say, verse 7, consider what I say. See, y'all got y'all see where I got it from, huh? Mm -hmm. Consider what I say. And may the Lord give you understanding in all things. And so just remember what so after Paul have said all these things, why would he have to turn around and say, Consider what I say? And may the Lord give you understanding in all things. And so the, the, the thing that I, that I would tell us is, is what we have to understand about what just happened is, again, he talked about a soldier. He talked about athletics. He talked about a farmer. And so he said, hey, now I don't know how many other analogies that I have to give you. I don't know how many places that, that, that you need to find yourself in or that I can use to identify, amen, that, uh, you as a young pastor or, a, or, or, or us as lay members in the faith, some things that you need to understand. He said, but, but I, I'm giving you three. <laughs> so he said, hey, listen, consider what I say. Discern 
What I'm really trying to tell you, listen to the words behind the words if you don't understand what the word is saying. He said, he said, consider what I say and may the Lord give you the understanding that you need. Amen. And so in other words, I ain't forcing nothing on you. I ain't telling you that you will, that this, uh, he said, I, I did say you must. But at the end of the day, I'm telling you to just consider it and may the Lord give you understanding in it. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Somebody say, consider what I said. And so here is what we find the apostle Paul is telling Timothy. Hey, consider what I say, man. Consider it. Consider it. Consider it. Consider it. Listen, this thing is not easy. It's not easy. I'm, I, I promise you, it's not easy. It may look easy. Amen. It may, it may, it, you know, sometimes we see people moving because God has graced them. Remember, verse one, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus because God has graced them. Amen. It looks easy. It looks like, but no, it's, this ain't, this ain't, this ain't easy. Amen. And so you have to learn to endure hardships. Amen. You have to learn. Amen. I'm telling you, even after uh, 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 11 years, amen, in ministry, amen, I still, uh, there, there, there are things that rise up. Amen. There are, there are things that, 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 that come into uh, 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 my attention. Glory to God. I, I, I'll say it like that. But hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I've learned, and I'm still learning, amen, how to endure the hardships, amen, as a good soldier. Instead of, uh, uh, instead of just as a soldier now, instead of as a soldier pouting, crying, whining, but as a good soldier, keeping my chin up, amen, taking, a, as we used to say, taking a licking and keep on ticking, but enduring the hardships, amen. And so, and so yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, under, I'm, I'm, I'm learning, amen. And so even with all the things that are going on in the world, you know, sometimes you be want to put your mouth on it. You be want to, ah, 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 amen. But I've learned, amen. For a while there, I was really silent because I, I, I said, okay, God, I, 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 don't, I don't want to entangle myself with the affairs of the world. I don't want, but then God began to convict me and say, hey, I've given you a voice bigger than just uh, 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 disci discipling ministries, amen. And so at times, amen, when, when the opportunity presents itself and I feel like there's a push from God, amen, I'm going to open my mouth. I'm going to share. I'm, I'm going to say what thus says the Lord. But there was a time when I'm saying, hey, God just called me to feed sheep. That's all I do. I, I feed sheep. <laughs> amen. But but he's given me, a, he's given, but again, it took some work, but he, not, but he, I, I, and, and I can feel it. I can feel that push that, hey, no, it's something greater than that. It's something greater than that. And so you and so what it what it did is, is it caused me to get past my own uh insecurities. It caused me to get past my own to get past me and say what thus says the Lord. Amen. It caused me to even recant some things that I said to some other people about them opening their mouth on everything. Amen. Maybe God told them to say something. Maybe God used them to say something. Amen. And so again. I'm just sharing, but there is some stuff I know God ain't said because some people be saying some foolishness. Now I'm, I'm, I can say that too, Amen. And, and I'd be, be the first to tell them you need to eat eat, eat of that crop. <laughs> you need to be the first partaker, Amen. Because obviously you ain't eating, Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Just consider what I say. Consider what I say, Amen. And so He goes on to say this in verse eight, and then I'm going to wrap this up. He says, "Remember, remember." He says, "Remember now." That Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. Amen. That's what he says. And then he says, for which I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even to the point of change. But the word of God is not changed. And so what he's telling me, he's like, listen, remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David, Jesus Christ, was raised from the dead according to my gospel. So what he's telling him is that, listen. I don't care what you do, all the stuff that you're going through, you remember Christ. And as I tell us all the time, you better know Jesus. And so he's telling them that, hey, listen, you know the one that was uh, 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 that was resurrected, amen. You know the one that 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 uh, that was that was that, that was again raised from the dead. You know him. Don't you forget him. Don't you forget Christ, amen. Don't you get so caught up in church <laughs> that you forget Jesus. Amen. Don't you get caught up in being so religious that you forget Jesus. Don't get so caught up in your athleticism that you forget Jesus. Don't get caught up so much in being a soldier that you forget Jesus. Amen. Don't get so caught up in being a hardworking farmer. Amen. That you forget Jesus. Remember Jesus. 
Remember the resurrection. Remember what he did for you. Remember him. Keep him at the forefront. Glory to God. And he goes on to say this. He says, For which I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even to the point of chains. But the word of God is not chained. And so what he's telling me is like, listen, even at the point of me suffering like I'm an evildoer, listen, I'm, I'm going to read it again. For which I suffer trouble as, as an evildoer. I'm not an evildoer, but I'm suffering this trouble. I'm suffering imprisonment. Amen. And, and for those that don't know, this is, this is right before he was beheaded. So he's talking before he was beheaded. Amen. Uh, 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 by these folks. Glory to God. He said, for which I suffer trouble as an evildoer. Why? He's talking about he suffered trouble for the sake of the gospel. And so some of us, amen, for the sake of the gospel, we ain't trying to suffer nothing. Amen. We, we, we ain't trying to go through nothing. We ain't trying to stay in and, 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 and fight along next to our, to our leaders. We ain't trying to stand on the wall and be a gap. But, hey, Pastor, I got, you, I, got, I got your left. Well, I got your right or whatever. Amen. We, we just kind of going along. <laughs> amen. But, but he's saying, listen, as an evildoer, I'm suffering for the sake of the gospel. He said, because I'm going to stand, I'm going to stand for righteousness sake. And I talked about, you know, at one time, not, not being a really good soldier in the army. Amen. But as when, but once I gave my life to Christ, amen. And well, even before that, I can say when it came to what was right, what I thought was right, I was going to stand up. Amen. If it cost me everything, I was going to stand up. Amen. But sometimes to a fault. Because sometimes the, the, the two of fault was to say that I'm right and you're wrong instead of fixing a problem. Glory to God. And so there's a difference to say that I'm right and you're wrong. Now, but to fix the problem, there's something else. But Paul is saying that, hey, because I stood on this gospel, I'm suffering. I'm in trouble as an evildoer. Amen. And so, again... Just know, if you want, really want to do this, you're going to suffer some things. Just to, to suffer some things may, or, or to be in trouble, you're going to lose some friendships. Amen. You're going to lose some relationships. Glory to God. Amen. There's some people that's going to be in and out of your life in ministry. God knows that's a wound that I still be like, oh, where they going? You know, and for some, I'd be like, yeah, I'm glad they're gone. But <laughs> amen. I, my wife gave me that look again. You ain't supposed to say that. But, but there are some that's still tired. Amen. That I still be like, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. But anyway, glory to God. But we have to endure. Amen. We have to endure some stuff. We got, we got to suffer some stuff. Amen. He goes on to say, amen, even to the point of chains. Amen. And so he's saying, hey, for the sake of the gospel, I'm in chains. Amen. Literally, I'm in prison because of the gospel. And so most of us, we may know some emotional stuff. We may know some spiritual stuff. But most of us don't know what it means to suffer physically. Amen. To, to, to be in the hands of someone. So Paul is telling me, he's like, listen, for the sake of the gospel, this is what I'm going through. He says, amen, even to the point of chains. But he, but, he, but, he, but, but he says this, he says, but the word of God is not chained. And he said, and the reason he can say that is because he's still writing the word of God. He's still challenging Timothy. He's still sharing the word. So even behind bars, the word is still going out. Glory to God. And so, but not only that, because he's gone to Corinth, he's gone to a fest, Thessalonica, because he's done all these other things, the work he's doing is still popping. Amen. To this day, we're still talking about the Apostle Paul. Glory to God. Amen. Because the word is not changed. The word is still going out. And so regardless of what we do, amen, just like I come into this forum today, man, and I'm just telling you, sometimes, amen, there are some I, I, I get, some people send me a Facebook live or I come across something, amen, and I look and, and, and it got you know, 200 people, amen, I'm, I'm saying that's watching this live video and I'd be like, man, I'd be good if I get 12, I'd be good if, only if I get 15, amen, but, but I can't be sidetracked about that. The, 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 the fact is as long as the word is still going out as long as the word ain't changed, amen I still have to do what God has called me to do man, I hope I, I, I hope I, I, I ain't get, get too fast right there, amen but the point that I'm making is this amen, is that we still have to continue to do what God has called us to do, amen, the word is not changed and so whatever evil uh, 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 uh uh, a change that we feel like we may be in that hey nobody's responding nobody's necessarily uh, uh, taking it amen amen new people ain't really coming into the ministry and all this other stuff man I have to know that I am doing what God has called me to do and therefore the word is not changed I continue I get to come in Facebook don't even charge me to come into your hearing like this and even for those that don't want to hear it amen it's okay it's still out there in the cloud 
It's still on, on YouTube. It's still out there. And so therefore, I can say, amen, God, that I, I, I've done what you told me to do. Hallelujah. Amen. I've been a hard-working farmer. And so the crops have gone on throughout the land. Amen. And I get to eat of it and get excited just like I'm doing now. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. And so having said all that, consider what I say. Consider what I say. And may the Lord give you understanding in all things. I bless God for each of you. And I'm hopeful. Amen. I don't know if I'll be back in here next week with this or not. Amen. But I felt that thing down in my, at, at the sanctified people say, I felt that down in my shanana. <laughs> amen. And so I felt that thing. Amen. That I needed to share this word today. I needed to stay in that vein that we came out of on Wednesday night. And I'm hopeful. That each of you were able to grab something that you can chew on, amen, that that whether you, whether you are a, a, a good soldier, amen, a, 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 a not a such a, a not such a good soldier, you be encouraged to be a better soldier, amen. If, if, if you've been competing in the faith, if you've been running your race and you know that you've been playing by your own set of rules, matter of fact, I say this, I, you know, for everybody out there that may have children, I say this, and so when, when, when your children are young and y'all playing a game, Y'all playing a little game? He said they be trying to make up their own little rules. You know, I told them what the rules are. You know, try to show them. And they just try to do what they want to do. Oh, I get all of them. All those are mine. <laughs> they, they grab stuff. And so they be trying to make up their own little rules. Glory to God. And so what I'm telling us, that's the same way we are in the faith. Amen. Instead of playing by the rules that God has given us, instead of doing what God has, has told us to do, we want to make up our own rules. And so Paul is saying, you're not going to get a crown. Amen. If you don't, if you if you don't compete by the rules, glory to God. And then he goes on to talk about this farmer, this hardworking farmer. And so all of that to say, people of God, I love us. Amen. And I pray God's best concerning us. Amen. That we consider what I say. And may the Lord give us understanding. In all things. Once again, this is Apostle Chauncey Craig at Discipling Ministries, the place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. God bless you. I love you. Peace.